Hey guys, are you looking for an easy way to saddle pipe without actually having the saddle? Well, we got some hardware and we're gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. All right, so these are our pipe pals. Now what's nice about these pipe pals is they're literally a piece of hardware, pre-saddled, sleeves over two and three eighths. So you can use it for a top rail, you can use it for rails, whatever you need to saddle something for, that's two and three eighths. Um, you can use these pipe pals for. There's also obviously different sizes of these that you can get. We're gonna deal with the two and three eighths to two and three eighths today and show you how to do a top rail as well as multiple railed fencing. Easy solution. If you don't have a notcher or you don't wanna be notching all day, this will save you a lot of time. All right, so your first step is obviously here today we're doing an example piece. So this is on our welding table. We've got some posts already set, but you would wanna set your posts, okay? If you need to learn how to do Post, set your post. Be sure to like and watch our video somewhere here on the screen. Um, if you already got your post set and just wanna know how to put these, these pipe pals on, we're gonna show you that right now. So your next step would be to get your post height, okay? So if you're doing a top rail no climb, the majority of the time it's five feet high. There's obviously different size heights of wire and things, you can do it whatever height. So you wanna mark your height. Again, we've already cut this and this is a level table. So all of ours are set. Um, so if we we're doing a top rail, our posts are set to the height. These are pre-saddled, okay? Literally these go right over your posts, just as, just like that. I'm gonna slide my saddles over each of my posts. Okay, and I'm gonna come up and I'm just gonna be right to the the edge you see here, right to the edge of my post. Now you wanna go up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna tack this on real quick. This is a welding application, okay? These pipe pals are required, you, you are required to weld these. So it's just saving you time on saddling or if you don't wanna saddle, like this are really handy, saves you a lot of time. I'm gonna tack all these and we're gonna show you on the top row how that looks and how that works out. So here we go. All right, so what I, I did to eyeball these to get them straight lined with the other pipes, I just came to the side. There is a slit on this pipe pal, so I just kind of eyed it, okay, and did a mark, tacked it, came to this side, did the same thing, eyed it, tacked it. I just did two ends. Now the reason for that I'm gonna show you right now. So I can set the top rail on. That looks pretty dang straight. Now all we gotta do is bring this up. See that? Now I can just tack this to that. All right, now that we got the top rail, all the pipe pals are tacked. You can see there. Fits just nice, nice and snug. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld all that. And then uh, we're gonna do the rails next for you, show you how those rails work out. So let me get this all welded and we'll do some rails for you. If you like what you've seen in these videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos. Thanks guys. All right, so I just threw this top rail on real quick, got it all welded and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to do these rails, okay? So just like the top rail, we're gonna use these pipe pals as the sleeves, as the notched pieces. So really what you gotta do is measure in between your posts, 37 inches, and you wanna take off, you could take off a half inch to an inch. I went half inch, so I got my piece pre-cut already. So you can see there. Okay, so we're good to go. Step one for your cross rail, you're gonna want to get your measurement, so we cut that down already for a rail. Your next step is gonna be to get your height or your rail spacing, okay? So here, I mean, I have 18 inches, 18 inches. So if we wanna split that, we've got nine inches, okay? So I'm gonna mark nine inches. All right, so now that we got our post measured to where our rail, we want our rail to be, again, I went halfway. We're gonna get our pipe pal. Now I like to have this slit going towards the ground to the bottom, okay? So what I'm gonna do with my first one to help me out, I wanna make sure 
I'm straight line with your top rail and your other post and that I'm on that middle mark. So I can tack this on right now and I'll be able to put that other piece on. So I'm gonna make sure I'm right in the center. Tack it. All right, so we start with that one. I got it tacked on. Now you can pretty much sleeve your next piece over your rail. Stick your rail in there, okay? Now you're just gonna push it over and on and make sure you're right in the center there on your post. So now I'm gonna tack this. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on our next rail, okay? So we're gonna tack this piece on, make sure we're right in the right spot and we're going, you know, we're in line with this, with your top rail so it's not all crooked like this. So make sure it's pretty straight. There we go. And same thing again. We're gonna slide this pipe pal over, push it in. Make sure we're all the way flush with your pipe pal and right in that middle line that we marked. And we're gonna tack it. All right guys, as you can see here, we just finished it all up. I got it all welded and uh, this thing's solid. Like, I mean, this is a solid fence. I would definitely recommend using these pipe pals for any of your fencing projects, especially if you want to quickly saddle pipe. We've shown you guys a lot of different ways how to saddle pipe. Um, this is a way to do it without having to actually saddle. So um, straight cuts, you weld it, you can just tack it if you want, but I mean, you fully weld. This is a solid piece of fence, even with these pipe pals. And you can see it really doesn't look too bad. Um, it actually looks really well. Um, it all matches with the raw steel. Raw steel turned out great. So um, if you're looking for a way to easily saddle your pipe and build a nice pipe fence, pipe pals are a great option when doing something.